Hi guys, welcome to the video I make Computer Fight, and today I have a video for you on creating an auto update or an update for your application. So let's get straight into it. And what you want to do is add a button. Uh, obviously, you can customize this how you want. I'm just going to change the text on it to check for updates. And what you want to do is double click on the text to open the code on it. And then what you want to do is you want to type in dim request as system dot net dot h yeah http web request system dot net dot http web request and then what you want to do is get rid of the space there now what you want to do is you want to go into Dropbox and you want to create a text file it doesn't have to be Dropbox you can actually go on to uh, things like things like Ripware and uh, Mediafire where you can create your own where you can put your files on there but I use Dropbox and what you want to do is create a text document in there or upload a text document called version.txt and in there it just basically contains 1.0.0.0 which is the version number and uh, just host that on whatever file you like as long as it is downloadable and you can actually download it so what you want to do is you want to on Dropbox anyway you want to right click copy public link if you're on a Mediafire you can get the link from Mediafire as well I just want to paste it in there like that but you actually want to type in create there just so it actually knows to download the file and uh, then what you want to do is put dim response as system dot as system dot net dot http web response as we're creating a response and you want to do request dot get response and just put a few lines down and you want to put dim sr as system dot io dot stream reader which this is what's going to read the file and you want to put equals new system dot io dot stream reader and then you want to put in brackets you want to put response dot get response stream so now we've declared it to download the file and read the file we're going to put uh, dim the version numbers so dim new s version as string and then you're going to put equals sr.read to end once you've done that you can create another variable called dim current version which I'll explain once I've typed it as string equals application dot product version right so what you want to do uh, you want to click on project up here to uh, get the version or to check the version of your file and you want to go you'll get the name of your project and the properties of that then what you want to do, you come in away, you'll see assembly information and you shall get your assembly version, your file version. Just make sure they're the version that you want it to be. So this is 1.0 in this case, which is the same number as watching the version.txt. And you'll start to gather what I mean once I've finished. So after that, what you want to do is put if newest version contains current version. Then you want to create a new line because it's a new statement and you want to put message box and you want to put that to I'm just going to say you can put this to whatever you want but I'm going to say you are up to date uh, as I said you can customize that to do however you want else message box and you want to put that to whatever you want there is a new update avail there's a new update available 
So at the moment, I'll just save that. What at the moment, uh, when you click the check for updates button, let's give it a few seconds. It'll say you are up to date because uh, the application version is the same as the file version. Whereas if we change the file version to 2.0. Uh, and we click it again it should say there is a new update avail av available because the versions do not match as there is a newer version available so that was just a short tutorial there on how to create an update for your application if you want more like little tutorials like this can that can help you just comment below on what you would like to see or set, uh, contact me with what you want to see and I'll try and get that done for you so thanks for watching this video guys and I will see you in the video